and I'm Derek. And this, and this is, is Wicked, Wicked Adventures! morning to you guys. We are coming at you from Cook's Forest here in northwestern Pennsylvania and this is the OG. This is the park that started it all. Back in 1927 this park was founded. It was the first in what we now know as the Pennsylvania State Park System. One of the reasons that they founded this park was to stop the timber boom. Uh, at that point they were clear-cutting as many trees and forests as they possibly could and uh, a group of men from Pittsburgh came into Cook's Forest and they walked through this same area that we are and they said it would be a crime to ruin this. So they sat together and they uh, bought the land and they deemed it a state park. And um, so what we're looking at today are hemlock and white grove trees. They are some of the tallest this side of the Rockies. Um, as far as the East Coast goes, these are the closest in size to the sequoias that you'll find in California. So us Easterners, this is the closest we're going to get without hopping on a plane. So come with us. Right now we're in the Cathedral Woods and it is gorgeous. So we hope we're going to find some of these 200, tall, 200 foot tall trees today. And uh, right now we're just loving it. Derek is approximately six foot. Check out how tall this tree is. Okay, so by now you're probably asking yourself, what's so special? All I see are trees. Well, consider this. In North America, there are over 750 million acres of forest. And of those 750 million, only 3.5 million are considered old growth forest. Cook's Forest is one of the East Coast's leading examples of old growth forest. Some of these trees are like 350 years old. And thanks to the formation of the park, they were saved from the timber industry. So. That's pretty cool. You figure this is less than half a percent of the North American forest right here, guys. downhill now that should be easy much better than going up I like down down who oh I fell <laughs> <laughs> stopped at the park office and we picked up our map and it is saving our behinds because there are eight trails that wind through this cathedral forest and we are just picking up a different one every time so thankfully the host at the park office was incredibly helpful probably the most helpful person we've met at a state forest all summer she highlighted which trail she thought we would enjoy she told us some other areas we should check out like she was very very friendly
what's up. Okay, so we just got done with our hike through the cathedral forest, and now we are beautiful. driving. Beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Beautiful trees. What did you think about them? I really like them a lot. It was impressive. I can see why they call it. It was very, like, close to God-like. It was like that kind of church, like, awe-inspiring experience. Yeah, it was so, pretty cool. Yeah. Never seen anything that tall. No. And, like, they, the branches, they don't grow. They just quit growing the branches, and they just go straight up. Yeah, it was unreal, but they were definitely worth it. I'm glad that we uh, took that hike. I think we managed to visit all eight trails that they have through the cathedral forest. Like, we were just zigzagging all over the place. I did almost 300 feet in elevation. Yeah, I don't know what the final... I think we did, like, two and a half, maybe three miles, um, just because we kept zigzagging off. We're going to go get something to eat. We're going to drive to the town of Clarion which is a college town for this area. It's local. Uh, we're kind of in the mood for, I think, pizza? Pizza, probably. Yeah, we're going to see if we can find a good pizza place. We've been craving pizza all week. See if we can find something yummy. Um, we haven't really researched a whole lot. We don't know what's good to We didn't eat. know we were going to Clarion, though, so. Yeah, it's just the closest big town. So, Cook Forest, surprisingly, the surrounding areas, there are a lot of, like, mini golf like go-karts so it's it's touristy but it's still very natural woods like it's kind of a, um, a fun place i bet in the summertime this place is packed lots of cabins oh and yeah camping spots not even just cooks floors there's a lot of private campgrounds and cabins and things too yeah yeah so i think that definitely year round if you got a cabin it would be nice to come up here in the winter and see it I think like in two weeks this place is going to be in all of its fall glory yeah. and it's probably going to be like too early, I think. packed. Yeah. This is late in the year camping for us. We um, last minute bought some sleeping bags and last night we went to bed and I think we each had one blanket and then we got up and we got the other blanket out and then by like 4 a.m. I was freezing and was digging out the sleeping bag and then once I got in that like I was toasty warm. I slept for the rest of the night. And you got yours out probably like About around 5 a.m. Yeah, so tonight we're gonna go to bed in the sleeping bags and hopefully it'll be a little bit. Okay, guys, so we are having our lunch. We went to the pizza pub here in Clarion, Pennsylvania. We got the pub special, and then we got wings, and we don't have any plates, so I took a serve of them, and we're gonna have each get a half, and then we got ranch dressing. As you guys know, we're on a diet, and it's fatter day. All right, so we got the pizza. Could be cooked a little more to my liking. Still a little doughy inside. But you don't really like crust to begin with. Yeah. Not bad though. This was rated the number one place for pizza and Clarion. And it's a college town, so we had high Hi. expectations. Hi. What's going on? Okay, so we are still in the little park. We just finished our pizza. What did you think? And it was the best in Clarion. They better step it up. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. Like I said, it could have been cooked like just a little bit longer. So. Our town, which we can't, we don't really like the pizza. We have bad pizza in yeah, our town, and, our and it was a lot better than this. Yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, it's just not our favorites. We like really thin crust. But it is rated number one in Clarion, so. According to TripAdvisor. Another obstacle in the course, James R. What are we going to do? I know a way. <laughs> 